Now, if you want to do a mobile app that's not necessarily just for your brand, but if you're going to try to find an opportunity to you know, get some downloads, hopefully get some opt-ins, or even build a business around making money just from the app itself, because you, know, you can monetize a mobile app with in-app purchases, uh, with advertising, or it could be a paid app for sale. Uh, so there are a number of different options. Again, it's getting very competitive. It's not the easiest business to scale. There are some opportunities to make money with it if you can get it ranked and get those organic free downloads. Um, but of course, that's not easy to scale. Even if you rank number one, what you get is what you get. So you have to take that into consideration. But regardless of what you want to do, you need to be able to do research. And the way you do research is simply to go to the App Store Go into iTunes or look at it on your phone, poke around a bit, you know, like look at categories. So let's say you, your business was in health and fitness. We'll go to the health, health and fitness category and you poke around in here and you see what kind of other apps there are, you know, that are, you know, ranked well, that are the top paid apps, you know, and get some ideas on, you know, what these apps are doing. Here's like a healthy recipes and grocery deals app. You can see the type of screenshots they use. It's like I'm always, I keep saying, you know, don't reinvent the wheel with your marketing. Find out who's already getting the results that you want. Like this, this app is ranked, you know, higher, at least getting good exposure. And so look at the screenshots they use or look at how complicated, you know, their app is. You know, see what functionality their ha app has. See what keywords they use. Um, but you can just, you know, come into the app store, poke around a bit and uh, get some ideas on different types of apps. Maybe, you know, you want to have created again, though, I got to say this and, and I hate to keep being like a Debbie Downer or, or negative Nancy or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but please uh, be very, very careful in the amount of, of resources and money you put towards like mobile app development and uh, like if, you, if you're thinking about making a mobile app for yourself from scratch, really sleep on it before you make that decision. Because like I said, I want to just give it to you straight and give it to you honestly from my own experience. It's a really, really tough business, mobile apps in and of itself to make any money and especially to scale. Uh, so every time I have a friend or relative or, you know, student or customer now that brings up mobile apps, I really try to discourage them from, from putting in all the money, the thousands and thousands of dollars it takes to make one from scratch and all the time because I know there's uh, better money to be made elsewhere, a lot easier. There's good, you know, software makes the world go round and there's a lot of money that can be made from like a SaaS tool, a subscription-based SaaS tool or some downloadable, you know, computer software or any other kind of online widget tool, script, whatever, WordPress theme, WordPress plugin. There are so many different ways to make money from software, but mobile apps aren't one of them. Mobile apps have slowly but surely become too competitive, like I've already stated, and very, very hard to make money with. Now, are there exceptions? Of course. Just like you as an entrepreneur could create the next Facebook, but... Is it something that everyone's doing all the time and having success with? No, it's, they're not. You know, the, the mobile app business is very competitive and it's not cheap either. You have to know that going into it. It's not cheap to have a good app developed from scratch if you have one made custom. It's several thousand dollars and can be sometimes even more than $10,000 depending on how complicated the app actually is. There are always exceptions. You could find some outsourced firm in India that'll do a basic app for you for a grand. Uh, but in most cases, it's going to be expensive. And the more expensive something is, the more money you're going to have to get back out in order to break even. And so it's just, anyways, again, you're free to do whatever you want. You have free will. My opinion is think extra hard before you invest much into mobile apps at all. With that being said, you could replicate and make a bunch of simple content-based apps that you could get ranked and start getting a lot of downloads uh, and opt-ins that way. Uh, but don't invest a lot of money in, into app development. But anyways, come into the, the app store yourself. You poke around, you can do a little spying and see who's getting downloaded, who's selling, what they're actually doing, what the app's all about. 
and, and then go from there and, and making decisions strategically about what you want to do in regards to apps. 